welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, this weekend I have been mass producing um, to try to use up the stash. I know you've heard this for two years, but honestly I'm trying to dwindle things down. Um, and I, I just feel a big, big push to really jump in and, and do that. So that's how I've spent the weekend. And having said that, I had a lot of these... Um, if you've been following me, you remember I did one weekend a massive cutting of the Tim Holtz Wildflower dies. I love these dies. They're absolutely beautiful. But I had put them in here, and of course, you try to be careful, but I could see that um, they're starting to get damaged. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do some projects using those today. And, you know, as you begin to play with things, um, what I started out doing, it's just totally changed. So, anyways, I'll shut up and show you. This is what I come up with. Why did I come up with this? Because I recently got some of these um, large baking cups, but they're the natural... Um, and so those came in. I, I played around. I haven't done a lot with them. So I had those. I had the little die cuts. And then this is just a tiny envelope. So I'll show you today how we how to make this. Um, there's many things. Um, but I'm thinking that's going to adhere to a page. And then inside, these are the little envelopes you can pick up. Let me get them. A um, ruler. Sorry, guys. This was not intended to be a uh, video. Uh, like as I said, I'm just trying to use up my stuff. <coughs> but it came out so stinking cute. I thought, oh, I'm going to show you guys. So that's a three and three quarter by just under two and three quarter. And you can buy these in the UK, and they come with these little cards, right? So I thought, oh, this is going to be so cute. Um, you can adhere that to your page, and then you can still have a little journaling card inside. So, okay, let's just jump in. Let me show you how I did it, because it's so quick. You know I don't do anything overly complicated. So, I think this would work with any size, except bearing in mind, when you take your cupcake wrapper. Let me make sure everything's all in frame here. When you flatten that down, you just, you, I think it would be too small. This is a, da, 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 da. I'm just going to show you, that's about a five by seven. Yeah. So, in my mind, and it's totally up to you. But I'm thinking that it's going to suit a smaller envelope better. But, you know, you do, do whatever you think looks nicest. And it might work. So the first thing you got to do is flatten that out. And then just fold the edges in and get them equal. There's my bone folder. Like I said, this is this was not rehearsed, guys. <laughs> and then I just folded that up. Now, you, at this point, if you wanted, you could put some, run that through the machine. I just glued it. But you can see, if you were to put this on a five by seven, you see it's going to be really small. Would totally work as a little tuck spot um, if you wanted to do that. But for this purpose, I'm going to stick with my little, little envelope. All right, so let me get my papers over here. Because the other thing I'm going to show you is, well, you just have to hang in there till the end to find out, won't you? <laughs> okay. I think I'm terrible with the tutorials because I always seem to jump ahead of myself. I get so excited. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, like I said, you've got that flattened out. 
and then just fold in the sides and then fold this up so that you're you kind of made a little to me it's it's like you're making a little base for your your little die cuts so I did that let me grab my I mean this is so so quick guys <coughs> so then I wanted some of this tied around it and I'm going to double it after having done that first one I know I want to double it this time so this is a uh, Irish linen thread you know I love working with it so the first thing is find the center you're going to want to glue that behind it. Just put a little bit of glue there. So yeah, I'm down to three bottles of my Fabri-Tac left. I've got some more glue on order and then after that stuff is gone, assuming I can get a good substitute, I'm, I'm not going to be working with that stuff anymore, guys. I'm, I'm getting super worried about the fumes are so strong on that, and uh, even with the windows open, I, I think it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so then glue that down, and then come back over and make you a little bow. I am useless at making bows. And this, it's really hard because you want to get it snug, but um, I never seem to get it quite tight enough. But if not, I just put a little bit of glue behind it. I'm not going to trim that off just yet. Okay, so now, just take, let me get all this over here. I'm so sorry, I feel really disorganized today, but I had no intentions of doing this because, like I said, I've got orders, and in between orders, I'm trying to just deplete down all the stuff I've got. So, <clears throat> as I said, I've got these already cut. If you're interested in these, they're in the description box below. Um, just take a little bit of glue and just start sticking those in. And don't worry, you can always come back and add a bit more. And I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried that some of these brighter colors... You know, because I, I don't tend to work in really strong colors, but don't worry about it, and I'll tell you why. Um, I've been playing with my, I finally got in my little bottles for my mica powder. So I wanted to show another way to use those, and I think you're going to really like this because at the end, I just sprayed those. <clears throat> I went back over it with the mica powder and it totally toned everything down. But it still gives it that sheen. I love it. So in my mind, if you've got those, you know, we've all got cardstock that is hideous and it stays in a drawer. Get that stuff out and go to town with it because you're not going to use it on anything else. So make some of these and then um, hit it with some of that mica powder. And it's just like a whole nother use for it. So I'm excited about that because I've got a lot of um, 
dark colors when I was working, um, you know, when I was doing, I won't use the craft color, um, with, uh, you know, stamping up, you buy all the colors and stuff, and so I've ended up with stuff that I just don't really work in. And just start placing them, don't worry, I just started layering them up, and, um, until you like it, I don't know, probably four or five in there. And then some of them, you know, when you try to punch them out, maybe you've damaged them. It's not going to show, honestly, guys, because it's, this is, it just completely tones that down. And it's just kind of a back, a back, you know, the background to it all. Because I then came in with the, um, I'm going to have that sticking out just a little bit more. And then something over here. So then I came back in and made that butterfly the focal point. Uh, let's see. Let's just get another. Let me use a little bit of blue here. So this is awesome. I'm going to be doing this. And if I, I'm going to try to play around with some other stuff using these. Because I don't want to just do tags. Um, I'll show you. This is what I started out. This is what I started out doing, and then I thought, well, some of these are getting damaged. Um, I've got it. I've just got to use it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I had pre-cut a load of these but butterflies as well, and um, I'm going to, I got the small one, and then I got this. Now, these were Stampin' Up! punches, so um, unfortunately, they, I believe they've retired. So, if you're going to ask me about it, there's no point, because unless you go on eBay, or sometimes Etsy as well, guys, if you're looking for retired um, Stampin' Up! punches and stamp sets, eBay and Etsy are your best chances to find those. So what I do is I just glue that. If you want, like I said, you could run this through the machine with a stitch and that would look awesome as well. So the other thing I did was just put just a tiny bit of cheesecloth behind. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. There's just, there's just so many things you could do with this, um. You could make little journal cards, but I thought, how sweet with the little envelope, and then you've still got the journal card inside. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue there and have him kind of sitting in amongst the flowers. Where's my little pokey thing? Okay, now the other thing is it came back and I just put a little bit of bling inside just to pull it because I want that to stand out against those um, the flowers so just put a little rhinestone or whatever whatever you want because I don't think like things too um, blinged up but you will see once you spray that it really does tone it down and it's just a little bit of sparkle um, and if you don't want to coffee dye or tea dye prior to you don't even have to do that you could spritz this first with whatever color you're going to use um, so okay so what I'm going to do because I'm in my space I'm going to have to well I'll let's see Sorry, I'm just back and forth, back and forth. Um, let's just, I'll just go ahead and spray it here. I, I, I hung it out the window um, because it goes everywhere, but I'll just spritz it here so you guys can see. Now, this is like a copper, and I really do like that, but I want to try something different just because that's the way I seem to roll. This one was a champagne, but I don't know if it'll tone it down enough. I'm going to try it, but the other thing I'm going to have to do, you're going to see the light change, guys, because I've got to plug in my, my heat gun. 
because that's the other thing I do is once I spritzed it, I heat, I put the heat gun on it, and it kind of brought those flower petals up, which was really cool looking. So I'm hoping, hope that hasn't went too dark, guys, but I will turn it on just as quick as I can. Um, let me see, I'm first going to try the champagne. <clears throat> if I don't feel happy with that, then I'll go back to uh, one of the other colors. I just like trying stuff, you know, different. That is definitely not going to tone it down enough. So, okay, so let's just try something different. That's kind of like a wine color. Mm, still not there. So, I'm going back to the, um, this was a copper. And I love that. Love, love, love that. And that is the Arteza Mica Powder. So, sorry for the noise, guys, but I'm going to hit this with the gun and you'll see how it starts to really come out. Okay, let me get the light back on. Yeah, you can see, this is the first one you can probably see with the light now. Let me move this down just a little bit more for you guys. You can probably see there's quite a bit more copper showing on that. I probably had shook it up a bit better. So this one's not quite as, I mean, you know, it's more subtle. But I love that. See how it kind of toned those colors down? And now I would be totally happy putting this in um, to a journal. And then, again, that will be inside for the little journal card. <gasps> love those. I really, really like that. I'll slip those off a little bit, I think. So, there they are, guys. <clears throat> again. The cupcake cases um, in the natural, you can get these off of Amazon. I'm sure if you're in the U.S. you can probably pick them up at other stores, Publix, those sort of places. But um, for us in the U.K., I know you're going to have to probably go through Amazon to get it. And then you're going to need these um, Tim Holtz dies or just find your own way, you know. Everybody can, you can take this and just go with whatever you've got. But I did want to show you again, this is the um, mica powders from Arteza. And I, I just um, mixed up a whole nother batch of them. But I am crazy about this. I totally recommend this. It's a, it's, you know... You, it's a really good investment because you're going to be able to use these for so many things. And I'm, I'm just spending a lot of time right now playing with it, making some tags and things. And I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So you guys, um, I hope everybody is okay. Um, and I'm sorry if this video seemed a little bit mm, all over the place. But I just wanted to jump on here quickly and uh, share with you. That I just think it's a really sweet little um, bouquet of flowers to add to our journals. Okay, guys, I've got a lot to share with you this week. The drawing for the friendship journal is going to be on Wednesday. Um, 
So I, if nothing comes tomorrow, I'm sorry if you've mailed it um, and it didn't arrive. I'm, I'm really sorry for that, but I do have to go ahead and, you know, I've extended it another couple of weeks as it is, so it's time to, to do the drawing. So you guys uh, come back for that. I've also had time to complete uh, two more <coughs> of the friendship journals, and I'll share those in the next day or two as well. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.